Inhale, find your flat back here, your long spine. Exhale, sink your hips back, chair pose, beautiful. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands down the center line, come to the front of your mat. We're gonna do the flow together, send salutation B. All right, arms by your side. When you're ready, let's take it back. Chair pose, hips back, beautiful. Scoop your low belly in and out. Think about your tailbone moving south and your cute bone moving north. Exhale, fold forward, let your head. Inhale, flat back, long spine. Exhale, we're folding, we're taking our feet to the back of our mat. Maybe we hop back, beautiful. Find your plank pose here. Bend your elbows. We're coming down. Push up down if you like. Up dog. Toenails down. Heart lifts. That's it. Good. Roll over the toes. Take it back. Downward facing dog. Right leg up. Bring your right foot forward and through. Sweep up. Can you dial your back heel down? Beautiful. Exhale. Hands down. Bring your foot. Step back. Higher low plank. Bring it down. Inhale, lift up on the toenails. Exhale, downward dog. Left leg lifts up and back. Bring it forward and through. Dial your back foot down. Shoulders square towards the front of the room. Good. Exhale down. Sweep. We're coming down. We're going through the vinyasa. We're going through the flow. Come on down. That's it. Inhale, lift up. Beautiful. Roll over your toes to come into downward facing dog. Nice. Are you warmed up? I think so. I was kind of getting it for a second. I lost it again. Well, also, I think uh, seeing yourself on video, even if I just send it to you, watching it will help. Okay. All right, let's bring it forward. Fold forward. Halfway lift here. Find your flat back. Exhale, fold. Bring it into chair pose. Press down to rise up. Beautiful. Hands down the center line all the way to your side. Find yourself right here in mountain pose. We're going to, so now we're warmed up. I'm sweating. Yeah. So we're, we're prepared, we're ready for our standing postures, okay? So we're gonna begin by coming into chair pose, so sweep your hips back and up. Back and down. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> yes, exhale, fold, let your head go. Inhale, plank your flat back, your long spine. Beautiful, exhale, hands down, right foot steps back. We're gonna come right up into crescent lunge. Yep, keep your heel lifting. Good. From here, I want you to let your palms come forward. Bring your elbows down. Inhale, take it up. Good. Exhale, elbows down. One more time here, and then you decide what feels best. Arms up, elbows down. And let your hands come down. Bring your foot. Bring your right foot forward. Fold forward. Let your head go. Inhale, find your flat back. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands all the way by the sides here. Mountain pose. We're going to come right back into chair. Take it back. And fold. Let your head go. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Take your left leg back. We're coming into lunge, so it's a really big step back. Our heel is up. We're sweeping our arms up. Turn your palms forward. Bring your elbows down. Beautiful. That's it. Inhale, reach up. Exhale down. Inhale, take it up. And then pause where it feels best for your shoulders. Is it arms up, arms down? Nice. Let your hands bring your foot. We're stepping back. Higher loop plank here. Make your way down. Bend your elbows. Beautiful. Inhale, toenails down. We're going to lift up into up dog or cobra. That's it. You've got it. Roll your toes under. Downward facing. Down. 
So walk your toes just a little closer here. We're going to take my right leg up and bend our knee. Just opening up here. And then take that right leg back. Hug your knee towards your nose and take it back. And hug your knee towards your nose and back. One more time. We're going to hug it in, hug it in, hug it in. Bring your right foot forward, left heels lifting. We're going to inhale our arms up. Big deep breath in. Good. Once you're here, we're going to bring our palms together. Left elbow, right knee. Other elbow. <laughs> bring your thumbs towards your heart here. Nice. Good. Soft face. Deep breathe. Unwind here. Let your hands frame your foot. We're stepping right back, downward facing dog. Feel free to walk it out. Think about spreading your fingertips out wide like you're trying to lengthen your mat forward. We're going to bring our big toes a little closer. Take your left foot up. Bend your knee. Open up through your hip here. Through the front of your thigh. All right, let's take that left leg back. We're gonna hug our left knee towards our nose and shoot it back. Squeeze it in. Take it back. Squeeze it in here, bring your left foot forward. Inhale, we're gonna bring the arms up. Palms are coming together and our right elbow is coming to the outside of our left knee. You got it. Good. Let your left elbow point up towards the ceiling. That's it. And we're just trying to find a little bit <laughs> more of that rotation. So that elbow up, pressing palms together. One more breath here. Unwind yourself. Let your hands frame your foot. Step back. Higher low plank. Good. So bring yourself down. Bend your elbows. That's beautiful. Good. All the way down, toenails down, lifting up into high or low, up dog or cobra. Nice. You can lift your thighs if you like. That's up dog, yep. Yeah. And then we'll transition down, we're facing dog. Alright. We're going to step or hop or jump or however, our feet forward. Fold forward here, let your head go. Find your flat back, long spine. Exhale, fold, sink your hips back. We're coming into chair pose, all the way to stand. And let your arms float down by your sides. Take a moment, check in, notice how you feel. Yeah, me too. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to bring our big toes together now. So bring your big toes together. We're going to sink our hips back for chair pose, just like we've been doing. Nice. Bring your palms together. Left elbow, right knee. That's it. Good. Right elbows up. Thumbs are coming in. And then the hips might kind of wag to the side. Try to keep them in neutral the best that you can. Unwind here. Take your right leg back. You might need to walk your left foot over a little bit. We're going to inhale, bring our arms straight up. Palms together. Bring it down the center line. We're going to take our right elbow to our left knee. Unwind here. Let your hands frame your foot. We're going to step back into downward facing dog first. Take your right leg up. And you can keep it up. Maybe you come forward into your plank pose with your leg up and come down. And then. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done that. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, that was hard. <laughs> and then lift it up. Whew. Take it back. Down dog or if you need a child's pose. Always honor your body. Honor your breath. Our breath is downloading information to us constantly here. Leads you to 
look forward a little bit better your knees. We're gonna bring our feet forward. Fold forward like your head. Find your flat back here. And take it back. We're coming into chair pose, pressing all the way down to come. Relax your arms down. Come back up to the front of your mat now, because we're gonna use the whole mat. Big toes are touching. All right, let's find our chair pose. Hips back, arms front. And let's bring our hands to our heart space. Our right elbow is coming to our left knee. Good, palms are pressing. We're noticing where our hips are in space. All right, unwind yourself here. Come through center, take your left leg back. Palms together, left elbow, right knee back. Heels lifting here. That's it. Let's unwind here. Come back to center. Let's take our right foot back and bring our right elbow to our left knee. Because I had us on the same side. All right, we're gonna unwind here. Let your hands frame your foot. We're gonna sweep that left leg straight up and back into a three-limbed dog here. And then we have the option to come forward with our leg lifting or not. And coming down, beautiful. Inhale, rise up, toenails down. Toenails down, that's it, shoulder blades together. Nice, you're in up dog, I'm in cobra. Downward facing down. Deep breaths here. Deep breaths. Get ready to bring your feet forward in between your hands. Fold forward. Find your flat back here. Sweep forward. We're going to come up through our chair pose. Press down to rise up. And let your arms float down all the way by your sides here. So we're going to go through few of the standing poses and then we're going to vinyasa in between them. Vinyasa is that dance in the middle. Okay, so if you ever see a class called vinyasa yoga, it's going to have a lot of what we're doing in it. Okay. Vinyasa, what it, the word means to place mindfully. So it doesn't necessarily mean that we'll dance in between, but for whatever reason, that's how it's used to in yoga world, in yoga land. All right. Mm. Let's find our arm pose. Inhale, let's take our arms up. Big deep breath. Exhale, soften your knees. Fold forward, let your head go. Inhale, we're going to find that flat back here, long spine. That's it, nice. Exhale, fold. We're taking the right foot back. We're taking our right foot back for warrior one. So once that right foot's back, foot's, yes. Good, see if you can find the pinky toe edge. I want you to think about squaring your shoulders forward. Come up, sweep your arms up. Good, bend your front knee right over your ankle. That's it. And can you square your shoulders a little bit more? Yes. Good, and then let your arms play. Keep moving. Keep your face. Let your left hand come forward and your right hand come back. We're coming into warrior two. Gazing out over your front fingertips. Nice. Can you bend your front knee a little bit more? Beautiful. Let's straighten our front knee. We're going to come into triangle. So reach it forward. Reach forward. And then I like bringing the back of my hand into the calf because I can press in and open up a little bit more. Yeah. Beautiful. I want you to imagine you're pressing your upper back into a wall here. We're going to come right back through warrior two. That's it. Bend your left elbow, turn your palm up, let your forearm rest on your thigh here. So let your hand come towards me. There you go. Press and resist. We're bringing our right legs up. 
This is extended side angle. I want you to dial your right underarm up towards the sky, stop your rib cage a little bit more. That's it. Nice. Look down. Let your hands bring your foot. We're going to step our left foot back into three legged Forward, higher low plank if you want, leg up or not. Make your way down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, downward facing dog or child's pose. All right. Now I'm going to ask you to hop your feet forward about halfway. Bring your big toes to touching. Will you toss me one of your blocks? Yep, and then I want you to bring a block. And we're gonna set it up high, all right? And we might need to adjust this, we'll figure it out. Come down into your squatting position. And just watch for a moment, okay? So we're gonna bring our knees up really high towards our armpits. And then look forward. I'm using the block to set my forehead. I'm just super light. Okay. And then maybe the feet lift and maybe they don't. Okay? So let me just see where you have the I'm going to bring it up forward a little bit more because you're going to tilt forward and it's not going to feel right. You need to bring those knees up really, really high. Bend your elbows. Think about making 90 degrees. But 90 degrees this way. Knees have to be high, high, high. That's it. Now you are making a shelf for your shins on the back of your arms. Can you shift forward a little bit? Mm -hmm. Lift. Resting on it. Okay, so lift. Okay. Now keep everything where it is. There's a shift that happens. Now see about bringing up one set of toes. So, so you might get some like momentum. <laughs> it took me nine years and your knees need to be higher. But no big deal. We're just playing around with it. Ah. Okay. Can't get that momentum or else I'm gonna somersault over it. That happens too. So just take a sec and look because this is what I'm seeing, Taylor. Okay. Is this. Okay? And if you can think about, you are making a shelf with the back of your arms for your shins. See how I just automatically kind of tilt? It almost makes it effortless. Those knees could come up even higher. Ah, yes, 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 awesome. <laughs> A little bit, okay. All right, so this is knees higher if you got it. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is crow pose or pakasana. Okay. All right. We're gonna let it go. Hold forward. Keep your block up to the side. And if you have bruises on the back of your arms, tomorrow this is what. <laughs> For real. All right. We're gonna press down. Right. So sweep your arms. Whew. And exhale. All right. Down the center line. We're gonna do the same thing. Other side. So come step on up to the front of your mat. Let your fingertips be heavy. Inhale, sweep your arms up, eight deep breath in. Exhale, soften your knees, fold forward, let your head go. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. We are taking our left leg back and dialing down because we're going to come up into warrior one. Sweep your arms up. Think about your shoulders square. Good. Can you find the pinky toe edge of your back foot and reach into it even more? Nice. Look forward, shoulders forward. Bend your front knee more. Beautiful. Nice. Warrior two. We are bringing our right arm forward and our left arm back. It's changing the positioning of our hips. I want you to look where your back arm is in space compared to your front arm. See if you can pull it out a little bit. Bend your front knee a little more. Take your right outer knee to the right, just a teeny tiny bit. That's it. Good. Straighten your front line. 
And we're gonna come into triangle. So we're gonna reach that right arm forward and then bring it down. The back of your hand might come into your inner calf, yes. Good, let your palm face the window, your upper palm, yep. Deep breaths. Come back up, warrior two. Bend your right knee and bring your right forearm onto your right thigh. Your fingers are gonna face the windows. We're gonna sweep our left bicep by our ear. Palm will be facing down. That's it. Fire up your back leg, bend your front knee even more. Even more, bend your front knee more. That's it. <laughs> From here, we're gonna to begin to look down, pick up your back heel, frame your foot with your hand. We're coming into that three-legged tug with our right leg. And then maybe we come through the vinyasa with our leg up, maybe we don't. Inhale, lift up, you can do up dog. I'll do cobra, high cobra, let your toe, yes. Can you let your toenails come down? Yes, beautiful. And let's roll the toes under. Take back and look down. Hmm. All right. Feet forward a little bit. We're using our block as a little prop. And, you know, we might just have to feel it out a little bit here, you know? So your hands are shoulders width apart and you really want to spread your fingertips out wide. I want you to take, like you're taking your knees into your armpits. And then bend your elbows over your wrists as you lift your hips up and forward. Bend your, oh yes, bend your elbows even more, yeah. Yes, can you bring your big toes closer together and closer to your rear end? Good. So some people transition into headstand for you. But I wouldn't suggest that until you feel really, really strong there because I landed right on the top of my head and it does not feel good for the neck. You got it. Ah, so let's take the block away. Look forward. Look forward. Take your eyes forward. We're not going backward. We're going forward. No, no looking back here. Ooh. Keep bending your elbows. Bend your elbows. That block gave me confidence. Yes. Well, it's, a, it's scary. No doubt about it. 